Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and I'm going to show you a demo of what this app looks like on the inside. When you've seen enough, click this icon to subscribe to our channel. We get to have a unicorn party for every hundred new subscribers we get. Here we go. Welcome to iBiome Wetlands. Now, this is an award-winning app about biodiversity. And here's Professor Bio. We're going to tap anywhere to continue. He's a scientist. My name is Professor Biodiversity, but most people call me Professor Bio. But I need your help. I f first, let me tell you a story. It's a sad story, a story of a very important ecological region and the impact of human actions on the natural world. Wetland. This is a wetland, an area of land saturated with water. Not a very nice place to build a town, but a very important part of the ecosystem. However, humans often take it upon themselves to shape the natural world to suit their needs. People can't come no, people came with machines to drain the ponds, build dams and build towns. You see, wetlands are important to the environment for many reasons. In addition to being an important part of the ecosystem, wetlands also act as a natural barrier to hurricanes. Here, without the wetland to protect the land from the impact of hurricanes, the damage was great. So here's the hurricane and here, oh, no wetland to protect the city. Hmm. This is where you come in. The damage done by the hurricane can never be not be undone, but maybe together we can restore the wetland to its natural state. Shall we tap this journal? Let's fix this mess and rebuild the wetland ecosystems. The biodomes, that's this big thing up here, can help you experiment and discover how so many amazing species live together. Fill the journal with your discoveries and together we can save this environment. So where shall we go? Well, we only got one choice so far. Let's go to that wibbly wobbly freshwater marsh. Professor Bio says, welcome to my lab. This is our dome, a freshwater marsh habitat home to 13 different species. I know it seems empty right now, but you can fill it with amazing creatures. It all depends on your research. This seems exciting. Let's see. In this game, we will use crazy web to do our research. First things first, let's see how this crazy web works. It's very simple. Drag the moving icons to the fixed spots. We have sun, soil and water here. Shake your device to test. All right, here we go. Oh, here's crazy web. So what are we doing? We're going to put some water in our environment. Uh, some sun. OK, so let's see what we've just done here. Not certain. Oh, we'll have three different environments. Oh, good. All right, so we've got one for each. Well done, you've figured it out. Simply drag the moving icons to the spots they belong to. Every species needs an environment to survive. Sun, water and soil are part of the non-living environment that can influence where an organism can live. All right, here we are. We are in here in Crazy Web. We need to find other spots that are marked as consumer and producer. Drag the moving icons to those spots and figure out which species is which producer or a consumer. Okay, let's shake our device again. Okay, so we have got uh, a dragonfly. Um, dragonfly, the consumer. Algae is a producer. And willow is a producer. Excellent. Consumer refers to a species that eats other species for food. Producer refers to a species that, I, species that either produces food for itself or is eaten by other species. Unlock algae. Ooh, oxygen is not only a critical element for survival to animals on land, but also in water. Outside of plants, there is one kind of underwater organism called algae that can generate oxygen while it is making its own food. So we've learned how to use Crazy Web. Now let's start the fun part, research. Your first task, or our first task, is to study algae, or algae, depending upon how you pronounce it, a key species for our habitat. We're going to shake our device now. Okay, see the flashing thing in the dome? That's algae. It can potentially live in our dome. To find out how, tap on the Start Research to start your research. Okay, so, uh, what are we doing here? So, algae into the environment. Oh, okay. So 
So algae into producer, of course. And the environment is the sun and the water. So we're going to add sun and water to the algae. Water and sunlight together creates the perfect environment for algae to thrive. In fact, every species needs a right environment to flourish, the right combination of air, water and soil for it to go home. Hooray! We've discovered algae! It has the ability to generate their own food through photosynthesis and oxygen is released into the water as a byproduct. Here it is. Algae all over the water. That's exciting. Oh, hold on, we've just seen that. All right. There it is. Congratulations! You have successfully introduced algae to our dome. Remember, shake your device to start your research. Let's get on our next submerged plants. All right, so let's just play here. Shake your device. Let's start. Oh, look, there's a plant down there, and there's a plant on the top, lily pads. So we are going to send some water to the environment and water lily producer, a kabomba to producer, and some sun as well. Sun water and some water plants as well. Excellent. So the kabomba, kabomba is a plant with stems and leaves that grows entirely underwater, while water lilies have floating leaves. They both need sunlight and water to thrive. Hooray! We've got some new species! There's lots of information there. Oh, that's looking cool now. Tap. Oh, I got a badge. Oh, that's very exciting. I like badges. Look at all that. Okay. Curious digger. Just click on the dancing cross whenever you see it. Every six clicks gives you one badge. All right. What are we doing next? Let's add more plants. Let's shake out a voice. Oh, look at them. I think one of them is a willow. So we have got some sun, some water, uh, some dirt, some earth, and a pickerel weed, and a wasp. Well, hold on. Produces a species that are eaten by the predators, so we need to put the willow in. But what about our wasp? Does our wasp not get to do anything? Not yet. All right. Okay, so some have got portions above and below the water. Here they are. They're having a lovely time there. Oh, snails. Let's invite some snails in. Okay, shake, shake, shake. There's a snail. It's a water snail. So we have got, oh, here we go, a producer. The snail is a consumer. And uh, I don't know what else we're putting in there. Anything else? No, good. Snails eat algae, which makes them consumers. Hello, little snail. There. Love it. What's next? Some insects. Oh, ooh, a secret research tool. This is very cool and you must check it out. If you get it right, you could win three types of cool badges. Add species to dome. Make your dome flourish. Just tap any unlocked species from the food pyramid and increase its amount up to three units. Shake your device to see how this species responds to this change. All right, so if we add, say, three snails. Okay, let's see what happens. Here's my snails. Oh, maybe I have to, uh, three. Okay. Oh, I'm having no luck here. Hold on. Okie dokie, maybe I need to, um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just adding lots here. Is anything happening? Shake your device to test. I think I added three kabombas. Let's see. What's first? Accept changes. Well, what's going to happen? Okay. So we've got three of them now. We're going to add more. Uh, mm, I don't know. Let's put in three snails. And let's try it out. Where are my snails first? Then this happened. Then more things happened. Oh, we'll accept our changes to our habitat. Hello, snail. Oh, what happened to our snail? That's not so good. Accept changes. Okay, 
Oh, they've increased. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go and do some more research. So we've got a consumer in a wasp here. We've got a producer. We've got another producer. And we've got another consumer as the hover lily. Did I miss someone? Oh, I missed the water lily. Fantastic! Yes, they are. They're hatched in the water. All right, hoverfly and wasp. There we have got some. Ooh, okay. Both butterflies and mosquitoes. Here we go. It's getting very exciting. So, mosquito is a producer. Butterfly is a producer. No? Of course not. They're consumers. Ah, oh, stay awake. All right, and... Producer, producer, producer. There. Yes, the caterpillar form of the viceroy butterfly feeds on trees such as willows. Their bodies actually become bitter by ingesting willow leaves so that when predators bite into them, it upsets their stomachs. We've got... Okay. No, they're different? All right. Ooh, butterflies and mosquitoes. And I'm a curious digger. Hmm. Excellent. And I've been promoted to a learner, not just a beginner. All right, I've got a lot of fun to have, obviously, here in this habitat. I'm going to keep playing in the habitat, and I'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Now, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up for new app demos every single day.